Hey what's up coders welcome to one little coder based on popular request i decided to make a video about chat gpt inside google sheet yes we made it possible that now you can use chat gpt within google sheet and a lot of people have been telling me that for seo uh, search engine optimization or people who are working in that field at least google sheet is the main thing where they do a lot of stuff so i thought okay can i take an seo example and then try to make a video so in this video we're going to see in one particular cell in a google sheet if we have a word can we use chat gpt to generate multiple keywords based on that word this is quite important like if you're going to run let's say google adwords campaign if you want to write a content article if you want to reach out to content marketers so th this is quite important thing in seo world where you want to detect keywords from existing um, paragraph or you want to generate new keywords based on which you can run campaigns so this example is going to tell you this video is going to tell you how you can integrate chat gpt you have to bring your own key b y o k bring your own key and uh, i've got multiple videos before where i've uh, shown you how to get the key so i'm not going to focus on that in this but we are going to go through the line by line of app script that is going to enable us include chat gpt inside google sheet it's it's pretty exciting i'm going to show you the demo first thing all you have to do is go click here uh, first okay let me remove everything and i'm going to show you a uh, uh, keyword here so the keyword here could be let's say data science okay data science is my keyword i'm going to select this that's quite important because whatever you have selected that's going to be used i'm going to select this go to chat gpt click generate keywords once i do that it is going to run the script and it has given me 10 um, new keywords that are related to data science now maybe you know what this is quite uh, like a common thing let me pick a a simple niche i'm going to say i'm going to say options and uh, options and commodities should i say equity equity and securities securities okay equity and securities go to chat gpt click generate keywords and then let's see what happens now so okay it has done stock stocks and bonds investment portfolio fina financial assets capital market shareholder equity security trading asset allocation and you can customize this completely based on whatever you want and that is the whole point of this video to teach you how to do this for your own need as the cliched statement goes i'm not here to give you the fish i'm here to teach you how to fish so let's get started with the code so first thing that you need to do is you need to go to the google sheet and open a new sheet go to extensions and click app script once you clip click app script you would reach this particular place where you can enter this entire script you do not have to take notes i'm going to link this entire script in my github repository and link that in the youtube description just below the like button so you can directly use it you don't have to be worried about it i'm going to show you every single section of this particular google app script that will help you modify the script in the future if you want the first section is where we are going to define our model key open a api key and also the model name so this is the chat gpt model if you have if you want to use different model you can use it but i think at this point it doesn't make any sense to use a different model given how cheap it is like probably um i i, I don't think anybody would use text davinci there are certain advantages of using a gpt 3.5 versus chat gpt model but at least i would suggest you to use chat gpt model this is the place where you enter the api key which you are going to get from open ai account this is where you have specified the model name you don't have to change it now this is the section we are going to actually let me zoom in this is the section we are actually creating the ui in itself the ui that you see here this button and this one this is where we are creating so we are creating a new ui in the menu called create chat gpt and then we are adding an item saying okay generate keywords so i'm going to show you how to add another particular function so first let's see the entire code then we'll update the code for our new menu item so it's easier for you to do it whenever you need it so this is the place where we have added the menu item the front end ui now we are going to go to the back end so any ui item that you add is going to be tied up with a function so in this case the function name is generate keywords as you know if you are familiar with programming you cannot have spaces in the function name so that's why you can see in the menu name which is customer facing we have a space in the generate keywords we don't have a space the next thing is we have the function created generate keywords here we are going to go to the particular sheet from that particular sheet you are going to pick the text from that particular cell where like the active range whatever you have selected and we are creating a prompt we are saying that generate 10 keywords similar to this keyword and this is where the selected text this text that we have selected goes in 
the temperature and token i still stuck with 2000 words uh, 2000 sorry tokens but chat gpt model can do approximately around 4000 ish so you can you can play with that if you are going to uh, give a bunch of text so now we have got a request body uh, inside the request body we are going to create the request that we want to send it to the chat gpt api you can see that the model type is there the message is where we build the message like a conversational message and then temperature is going to help you with creativity from zero to one you can play with that maximum number of tokens that you want to send currently temperature is zero once the request body is ready we need to now set the request header or request options um, the request type is post request and the header contains it's a json request application json content type and then we have got the bearer api key so the api key comes from here and then the entire thing goes as a payload that's what the entire body now this is the place where we want to request it from this is again open a endpoint for chat gpt completions the endpoint name is completions it's for chat gpt once once the request is sent it's going to send a response back now you need to collect the response and go to the particular place where you're going to get the content and add the content to the last section after the last row you're going to add this is the existing code now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new menu item so it is easier for you to add a new menu item so i'm going to go here and then say first add a new menu item now what should be this menu item this should be uh, generate let's say create one line one liners or i should say add copy add copy okay so generate add copy and now create a new function here i want to paste this function just above this so it's easier to see i'm going to call the function generate add copy and i'm going to after i call the function generate add copy the next thing that i'm going to do is generate five add copies five google adwords copies for this keyword okay done and i'm going to save so every time you have to save and run and every time you open a new google sheet you have to do this as well um, otherwise you have to deploy it i'm not getting into the complexity assuming that this is going to be used individually so done our code is done delete everything so let me give artificial intelligence intelligence go to the chat gpt menu click create add copy so i've clicked create add copy so i assume it's going to discover the power of artificial intelligence get started today and transform your business with ai unlock the potential of ai revolutionize your industry with artificial intelligence harness the power of ai so that's quite good that's quite good let's look at one more example before we wrap up the video i'm going to say subscribe to one little coder who makes ai videos this is not necessarily a keyword but i still assume that given the prompt that we have designed it is going to work fine let's see how it goes get latest ai insights from one little coder subscribe now stay ahead of the game with one little coders ai video subscribe today unlock the power of ai with the one little coder subscribe for exclusive content join the ai revolution don't miss out on one little coders ai video subscribe now for free good i should probably use this to advertise my channel but for now i think this is good enough for anybody to get started with integrating chat gpt inside their google sheet for their professional workflow the script will be linked in the youtube description completely for free you all you have to do is get your own open ai key and customize the script in the way you want and uh, let me know if you have any questions and um, and yeah thank you thank you so much for all the support in the recent time and i really appreciate it see you in the next video peace